We are now in bonus segment number 18 of Alex's birthday special. And what are we playing this time? We are going to play Jeopardy! 2nd Edition for the PlayStation. Hope you all called bonus segment number 9 uh, earlier on because we did the regular version of Jeopardy! for the PlayStation and I ended up winning Alex $100,000. Am I going to do so this segment too? Let's find out. Yeah. And in Je the Jeopardy round and the, the double Jeopardy round of the Jeopardy for PlayStation, no incorrect responses were given. Unfortunately, in Final Jeopardy, the two computer players both gave incorrect responses, whereas I gave a corrected response. Here we go. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. I'm ready. Wow. Too bad there's not a tournament option for the regular PlayStation version of Jeopardy, for the regular version of Jeopardy on PlayStation, but I did win Alex in that game, as I mentioned, $100,000. I could do so in this segment, it all depends on the categories, and to my liking. Here we go. Let's see if you like these first round categories. Hopefully I will. The categories are as follows. Paul, meet Paula. European history. D in science. Anagrammed Hitchcock films. Leftovers. And just to finish things off. Here we go. Anatomy. Player one, what'll it be? Anagrammed Hitchcock films, 100, please. Marie. What is Marnie? Player one. Right you are. And a grand touch clock zones for 200, please. Rig boat. What is vertigo? Player one. You're correct. And a grand touch clock zones 300, please. Shy cop. What is psycho? Player one. Right you are. Anagram Hitchcock Films 400. Bed shirt. What is the birds? Player one. Exactly. Uh, let's have Anagram Hitchcock Films 500, please. Laid from Red Rock. What is Dial M for murder? Player one. Got it. Anatomy for 100. The red portion of this bone tissue is responsible for the creation of blood platelets. What is marrow? Player one. You're correct. Uh, let's have uh, anatomy for two. Joint in which you would find a band like structure called the rotator cuff. What is the shoulder? Player one. Exactly. I'll take anatomy for three. All right. The daily double. Player one, please make your wager. I'm feeling good. Hey, butthead. This muscle's name is Latin for largest rump. What is gluteus maximus? Player one. You bet it all, but. It paid off. Excellent. I'll take uh, anatomy for 400, please. This band of connective tissue between the heel and the calf is named for a legendary warrior. What is the uh, Achilles tendon? Player one. Yes. 
I'll take anatomy for 500, please. The anterior lobe of this master gland is responsible for the release of somatotropin, our growth hormone. What is the pituitary gland? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's have D in science 100, please. The material left behind by a retreating glacier or the slow movement of the continents. What is a drift? Layer one. Definitely. I'll take the in science 200. How loud you're playing your Aerosmith album is indicated by this number. What is a decibel? Layer one. That's it. Uh, D and size for three. In 1837, this French theatrical designer invented a new type of photography. Layer three? El Dagar? Yes. Uh huh. Layer three, what will it be? Just cruising right through this game. How about leftovers? For 100, please. Recipes for shad, a type of this, include broiling, planking, and stuffing with rope. Layer two. Is it fish? Exactly. It is fish. All right. It's all good. Your turn, player two. Leftovers. For 200, please. The story goes, Captain Cook asked what that animal was, and a local replied this, meaning, don't understand. Player one. What is an orangutan? Oh, that's incorrect. No, $200 for an Whammy Incorporated. Player three? Kangaroo. That's right. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, player three. European history for one hundred dollars. Well, I'm only giving a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars weighing me so far. In 1914, German troops came within 15 miles of this French capital before being repulsed at the Marne. What is Paris? Ah, oh, layer one. Oh, I forgot. You have to wait till the lights flash. Well done. Yes. Uh, European history for two hundred. Player one, your turn. All right. This boot-shaped country's 19th century unification was impeded by the Papal States, which physically divided it. What is Italy? Player one. Right you are. Uh, let's have European history for three. In the 17th century, Shabbatai Zvei attracted a mass following among Jews after declaring himself this. Layer two. The Messiah? You got it. All right. Layer two, you choose. Paul meet Paula. For 100, Alex. Better known as Crocodile Dundee, this actor began pitching the Subaru Outback in TV ads in 1995. Who is Paul Hogan? Player one. Yes, indeed. Paul meet Paula for 200. Your choice, player one. She was once co-anchor of CBS This Morning. Who is Paula? Player one. Who's Paula? Prentice? Ooh. No. Sorry. Player three. Paula Zahn, that's the one. You got it. So now Wayme Incorporated is gonna profit four hundred dollars from this game. That's alright. Player three, what will it be? Leftovers. For three hundred. Coffee comes from this Middle Eastern language's word kawa. 
What is Arabic? Player one. That's right. Uh, let's have leftovers for four hundred. Player one, what'll it be? Served in a Mexican soup, albondigas are spicy types of these balls. What are meatballs? Player one. Definitely. Let's close it out. By definition, it's what a full bathroom has that a half bath doesn't. What is a bathtub? Player one. Yes. D and science for 400. Sailing ships may experience days of calm in this ocean region near the equator. What is the Dardanelles? Player one. No? No, let's change my let's change it. What are the doldrums? Definitely. Good thing I did. D and science for five hundred, please. Hey man, that's heavy hydrogen. Layer three. Deuterium? Yes, indeed. All right. Layer three, it's your turn. Cool. Paul, meet Paula. For three hundred. He played Butch Cassidy. Who's Paul Newman? Layer one. You got it. Paul, meet Paula for four hundred. One, your turn. She's the comedian who has written a back page column for Mother Jones magazine. Who's Paula Poundstone? Player one. Definitely. Paul, meet Paula 500, please. He was in high school when he got his first radio job at KVOO in Tulsa. And that's the rest of the story. Who is Paul Harvey, who we lost around this time ten years ago, and we miss him very much. I know I do. You're correct. 400. European history. It's what the FT stands for in EFTA, which began operating 34 years before NAFTA. Uh, what is free trade? Player one. Definitely. Not the last clue. And the final answer of the round. Catherine, the great son, Paul I, established an order of male succession in this country's Romanov dynasty. Romanov dynasty. Okay, I'm going to say what is Everyone? Russia. Yes, indeed. So I finished the Jeopardy round with $8,500. Off to a good start. Very good start. Building up a huge lead, player one. You're not far off the pace, player two. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in double jeopardy. Now it's time for the double jeopardy round. Dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on the board. All right. Pound that stone and get that money. This is part of Alex Paris's birthday special. And we are in bonus segment number 18 right now. I have $8,500. At this point, Whammy Incorporated is going to be getting $400. Let's see if you like these categories in the double jeopardy round. All right, let's. Celtics. Science. Triple A. The British Invasion. International Potpourri. And our last category, American Literature. Let's play Double Jeopardy. Your choice, player two. International Potpourri. For 200, please. On average, the icy layer on top of this snow covered continent is 7,000 feet thick. What is Antarctica? Player one. Well done, yes. I'd like to have uh, Player one, International Potpourri for 400, please. The railroads in Honduras were built mainly to transport this fruit that has a lot of appeal. What are bananas? 
Player one. You're correct. International Pup Reader 600, please. It's no sham. Aer Lingus is this European country's national airline. What is Ireland? Player one. That's right. I'll take uh, International Pup Reader for 800, please. It's the long South American country seen here. Oh, I know that one. What is Chile? Player one. You're correct. Uh, let's take um, International Pup Reader for a thousand. The Ivory Coast and Ghana are found on this continent. What is Africa? Although the Ivory Coast is really known as Cote d'Ivoire. Player one. You got it. Uh, could I have uh, American Literature for 200? The autobiography of Malcolm X was told to this author of Roots. Who is Alex Haley? Player one. That's it. Uh, let's take um, American Literature for 400. This legendary apple tree planner was the subject of a work by Vachel Lindsay. Who is Johnny Appleseed? Player one. Definitely. I'd like to have American Literature for 600, please. Answer. The Daily Double. Player one, please. I'm feeling pretty gutsy. Let's make it a true Daily Double. Right title of Tom Wolfe's 1979 book about astronauts. What is the right stuff? Player one. Which was also a movie that came out in 1983. You're a gambler, player one, but you're right. Yes. Way to go. Okay, we'll go with American Literature for 800, please. As the first, it jump-started John Updike's series of novels about Harry Rabbit Angstrom. It's Rabbit Run. Rabbit Run. Okay, let's go with American Literature for a thousand, please. This famous tale of Christmas gifts isn't one in a million, but one in O. Henry's book, The Four Million. Uh, what is the gift of the Magi? Oh, oh, oh! Player two. Son of a biscuit! Yes, indeed. I uh, hit the buzzing button too soon, so that cost me. It's okay. Player two, you choose. Check it off, check it off. Triple A. For 200 oh, I should do all this category. Let's find out. A fleet of warships, perhaps a Spanish one. What is an armada? Player one. You're correct. A triple A for four. Your choice, player one. This pasture and hay plant seen here is also called Lucerne. What is alfalfa? Player one. Definitely. Triple A for 600. Llama only has two A's, while this relative has. What is alpaca? Player one. Yes. Now I have over $25,000. It changes satin to stain. What is an anagram? Player one. Well done, yes. Uh, let's go triple A 1000. Any incarnation of Vishnu. Player three. An avatar? That's it. Yep. All right. If you would, player three. Let's try Celtics for 200, Alex. No one knows why Stonehenge was built, but these Celtic priests usually and incorrectly get credit for it. Player two. The Druids? Right you are. Uh-huh. Player two? 
Science. Or 200? The so in sonar stands for this word. What is, uh... What is solar? Layer one? Oh, regrettably. Oh, it's the other one. Layer two. Sound, yeah, I should have known. It's okay. Yes, indeed. So now Wayne Incorporated is getting six hundred dollars. Science for four hundred dollars. All right, it's okay. This Russian space station turned ten in February nineteen ninety six. What is Mir? Layer one. That's right. Uh, let's go with the six hundred science. Layer one. What will it be? In 1882, this inventor seen here opened the Pearl Street Power Station in New York. Who is Thomas Edison? Player one. No, Thomas Edison. Definitely. In a car steering system, it's the geared wheel that moves the rack. The pinion. Science a thousand. Answer. The daily double. Player one, please make your wager. Well, let's do it again. To produce this foil metal using the Bayer process, you begin with caustic soda and buffer. What is aluminum? Layer one. A lot at stake here, but you got it. What again? This legendary Celtic bird was enshrined in the NBA Hall of Fame October 2nd, 1998. Who is Larry Bird? Layer one. That's it. Celtic 600, or Celtic 600, either way, say it however you want, but that's right. The Celtic horse goddess, Rhiannon, shares her name with a 1976 hit by this band. Uh, who are Fleetwood Mac? Player one. That's right. 800, same category. From 1959 to 1966, the Celtics won eight straight NBA titles, led by this colorful coach. Who is Red Auerbach? Player one. Yes. Thousand. Celtic languages are spoken in Ireland and this new Scottish Canadian province that includes Cape Britain Island. Uh, what is Nova Scotia? Player one. Well done, yes. The British Invasion 200. This group, famous for I'm Henry VIII, I am, didn't play instruments on most of their hits. Who are Herman's Hermits? Player one. Got it. 400. The Searcher's biggest U.S. hit, it begins, I took my troubles down to Madame Ruth. What is Love Potion number nine? Player one. That's right. 600. On September 23rd, 1997, this aged rock group kicked off its Bridges to Babylon tour to everyone's satisfaction. Uh, who are the Rolling Stones? Player one. No. Well done. Yes. 800, please. When Jerry Marsden formed his new band in 1959, he didn't have the heart to call it anything but this. What are the pacemakers? Player one. 
Definitely. That last clip. Now to finish off the round. He sang lead on the animals House of the Rising Sun. Their only chart topper. Ah, uh, don't, don't mind. I don't know this one. I'll give it to the computer players. Player two. E. Burdum. Yes. All right. That brings you to the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You can still come back, player three. All right. I have almost 60 grand. Let's take a look at the final Jeopardy category. All right, now it's time for final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The final Jeopardy category right. is geographic wordplay. I'm gonna go for the forty-one thousand two hundred. See if I can win Alex hundred grand this game. Number three, could we have your wager? Yeah. Get all this. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Player three. Player two. The name of this Asian country contains the name of a Mediterranean volcano. Player one. I'll say what is. Nepal, or no, no, no. What is Vietnam? I'm going with what is Vietnam because Mount Etna. Well, how did everyone manage with that clue? Player three, your question. That's right. It is Vietnam. Wager was. They go to forty-four hundred dollars. Player two, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. It's How much not Pakistan, it and you're gonna lose it all. Player one, your question. That's right. So just like with the first edition of Jeopardy for the PlayStation, in this segment, I got Alex a hundred thousand dollars. And that's all for the tournament of champions. Whereas Wayne Incorporated will get thirty-four hundred dollars. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. And we'll wrap it up for this segment. I will see you all for that next one right after this. Thank you so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now.